Uh, yeah, I'm from Rhode Island. I'm a New Englander. Any New Englanders in the house? Any? Yeah. Oh, yeah, where are you from? Boston. Fucking Boston, that's right. Where? And then the other ones? Boston. Boston? Okay, well, can we share the secret with everyone else? No one's really from Boston. <laughs> where are you really from? Winchester. Winchester. <laughs> and where are you from? Westwood. Westwood. Okay, no Boston in the house, everybody. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's very close to Boston. That's that's really close. But I just like to point out that I remember I was spending right in Europe, like, where are you from? Boston? Really, where are you from? Rhode Island. It's still everything in Boston. It's the only city where people like want to brag that they're from. Like, fucking Boston, kid. You know, the only thing worse than a Bostonian, let me try, the only thing worse than a Bostonian is a Bostonian in Los Angeles. They're fucking. Because in Boston, the accent makes it, ah, the fucking slush on the pike, kid. You know? I heard a guy who was like, I got a fucking palm friend, fell in my mouth to Miata. I'm like, what? <laughs> that fucking anger that we have. But I, lo I, I, lo I love being from New England because of how traditional it is. You know what I mean? Like original colonies. Like I love how traditional. I went over to visit my family right off the plane. Some guy goes, nice skinny jeans, queer. <laughs> I was like, Dad, I'd like a church. What are you doing? What's up? I got out. I love my dad. I love him. Um, he's. He's, he's, he's kind of homophobic, and I'll tell you why. Like, he doesn't, he doesn't mean, that, like, he's a good god for a guy, but whenever we hug, whenever I see him, he pats my back, but doesn't bend his fingers. <laughs> so he thinks he's gonna just catch the gay for me, and he's patting away, like, it's the coronavirus. Like, get it out of him. <laughs> like, I'm gonna give him arthritis in his knuckles if he just fucking hugs me like a human, you know what I mean? But that's that generation, they just can't embrace it. They have to, like, you know what I mean? It's very, it's very proper. Like, when you're by, like, a fireman teach you, like, uh, they come to your class, they teach you about doorknobs more. <laughs> and, like, there's steam coming out, but there's gay guys fucking next door. You grab that? Winchester, that's what they teach you, right? And you, and you said Westwood? Winchester and Westwood? Very nice. No one else cares. No one else cares. We're going to do very colloquial New England jokes for the rest of the set. Uh, my favorite my favorite quote actually came from, from, uh, from New England. My favorite quote growing up was, Go confidently in the direction of your dreams and live the life you have imagined. Henry Davis Thoreau. It's a great quote. I quit my corporate job to do stand-up today for free because of that quote. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Never Google your favorite fucking quotes, okay? <laughs> He wrote that while living for free in an abandoned cabin in the woods. He was squatting in Ralph Waldo Emerson's cabin, and he's like, go confidently in the direction of your dreams, and it's like, bro, you don't know what first, last, and security is, so why don't you shut the fuck up? Not to mention, it's 20 miles west of Boston in Concord, right? So he's telling me how to go in Boston. Never take inspiration advice with a guy in a Boston accent. It ruins the advice. He's like, hey, go confidently in the direction of your dreams, kid. <laughs> Live life you have imagined, and when you simplify your life, give me a duck and donuts, extra, extra, I got shit in a bucket. Like, what are we doing? Henry Nava throw transcendental jokes. That's what I'm doing today. That's what I'm doing. It's good, I now know when conditioner was uh, made. That's beautiful. Uh, this hair takes more than conditioner. <laughs> I got rock and oil, mantras, I got a lot of shit going into this hair. Castor oil, we have a process, guys. It's Los Angeles, we have a process, right? We'll share hair stories. Out. I don't sell merch, I just sell rock and oil. I just sell space on it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, being from New England, I don't know. It's all right. We made it this far. Yeah. Okay. All right. Wait, you're not New England. No one else. New York. New York. Okay. Yeah. You know, do you do this whenever I, I used to live in New York? That's actually how we met. I used to live in New York. Whenever I meet someone from New York, I have to tell them I also lived in New York. <laughs> <laughs> we're not fucking Marines. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> I'm always sizing up. Like, when we're out there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was there for a. Uh, Hurricane Sandy, uh, I don't know, a couple clicks north of Central Park, yeah, we lost power for a couple of days, it was pretty good, yeah. you know, we lost 7 pounds, 77, you know what I mean? Okay. The only other time I tell people, I like, have to relate to people is whenever I see a guy with long hair, because I used to have long hair, and I always feel I need to tell them that I used to have long hair. Like, I'm some sort of, like, like I'm just, like, trying to measure up. Like, is anyone, any guys have nice long hair in here? No, you're all fucking normal people. Okay, fine. I had long hair, and I got it cut right when it got to the Lord Farquaad length, right about there. And this is a true story. I'm going to tell you guys this. I cut it, like, two years ago. I, I was in Silver Lake. I put my hair in a bun. I was going for a run. I wanted to blend in, okay? <laughs> the universe will tell you when to do something. So this is a true story. I was running down the road, and a hawk attacked my head. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know, I know. But like, hawks have impeccable vision. That's the problem I had with it. Like, if it was a bat, hits me, no big deal, but I can't see. But like, hawks, like, from 20 feet up, he was like, that's a robin's nest. <laughs> On that lesbian, and then just hit the shit. I swear, I was like, fucking talons? I didn't even know what talons were, and now I'm like, 
that she, these like, it's a true story, these two Mexican guys just start, they were on their lunch, they just start laughing at me. And I have like one cut, like I have like blood coming, like this fucking thing. I know, right? The hawks are dangerous. I don't care, my mom was like, watch out for the you know, Hollywood vultures, but you know, like, red tail hawks, those are bad too, okay? They can be very bad. That's my story about birds. Um, <laughs> I swear I cut my hair the next day and I like, well, fuck that guy. Go back to looking like, you know, Bradley Cooper from Limitless before he took the pill to become successful. Yeah. <laughs>